okay guys so today we are going to learn how to solve differential equations using the power series method okay in your math first year first part I'm sure that you learned many many methods to solve different kinds of differential equation but here we will learn only one technique and that is the power series method okay and in this video we will be discussing the theory behind power series method those students who are very good in this theory part can skip this video and go to the next video where we will be doing the numericals based on power series method but remember if you are not good in the concept you will get stuck now and then when you do the numericals so if you are not that good in the concept so please watch this video okay anyway let's start with power series method and before that I'll introduce you to one differential equation that is a second order linear differential equation it's right in front of you okay so remember this is called the second order linear differential equation and note this P Q and R are functions in X okay and it, uh, remember one thing the power series method can be applied only if you maintain this p not equal to zero that is the coefficient of the highest order should be kept not equal to zero okay anyway uh, now you imagine you're going to divide the equation throughout by p so make sure this q by p and r by p are maintained analytic or make sure this p does not vanish when you give values for x okay now remember this expansion y is equal to a naught plus a one x plus a two x square plus etc is called the expansion about x is equal to 0 so I wanted to do one thing take a sheet of paper and pen and this is something very important I wanted to note this point so remember the expansion in the form a naught plus a1 x plus a2 x square plus etc is called the expansion about the point x is equal to 0 okay so now look at this this is the second order linear differential equation and as I said before we should be concerned about the value of P at X but just now I told you we are worried only about the point X is equal to 0 because we are going to expand at the point x is equal to 0 so remember this power series me power series method works only if p is not equal to 0 at x equal to 0 and remember there is a special name for such a point and that is called the ordinary point and the case in which p becomes 0 at x equal to 0 we call x equal to 0 to be a singular point so once more I wanted to note these things in a sheet of paper okay let's move ahead so look at this at x is equal to 0 we can do the expansion and the expansion will look like this so this is called the expansion at x is equal to 0 or this will be our power series solution and once more if x is equal to 0 is an ordinary point that means if you substitute x is equal to 0 in p the value of p will be not equal to 0 and remember p is the coefficient of the highest order derivative and p will be a function in x okay and now note this this will be our 
solution. So remember, in this method what we do is, we pretend as if we know the answer. We pretend as if we know the solution. And in the last video I told you, solutions will always satisfy the equation. And we use that technique and find the values of A0, A1, A2, etc. So let's move ahead. So look at this. If x equal to 0 is an ordinary point, then we can assume this to be the power series solution. And I just said, solution of an equation must satisfy its equation. If you are not clear with this concept, just go for the last video where I explain the meaning of solution. Okay, so... I hope you are good with the notations. dy by dx can be written as capital dy, y1, y dash, y dot, etc, etc. If you are good with the notation, then it's okay. If you are not that good with these notations, please make sure you pause the video and note these things in the paper. Okay, let's move ahead. So, look at this. We are going to solve a differential equation and a differential equation will have dy by dx d square by dx square etc anyway what we do here is we assume this is our answer we pretend as if this is the answer and finally we will find a0 a1 a2 etc and since we are going to solve a differential equation we need the values of dy by dx and d square y by dx square so, what happens when you differentiate our y? It's a constant. A0 is a constant. So, the derivative will be? Yeah, it's 0. And then, what about a1 into x? It becomes a1 into 1. And what about a2 into x square? Yeah, you're right. It becomes a2 into 2x. That, of course, becomes 2a2 into x plus etc, etc. And I think... You are quite good in differentiation, so you won't face any difficulty over here. But, the method works really good if you are good with the summation notation. Do you remember, sigma stands for addition. So, I want to change this power series into the summation format, into the sigma format. So what I do is, I just write y equal to sigma, k is equal to 0 to infinity, a k into x, x to the power k. And what is the meaning? First, you have to input the value, k is equal to 0. So what do you get if you input k equal to 0? a 0 and x to the power 0. What is x to the power 0? Yeah, it's equal to 1. So the next term plus because summation means addition and when I put k equal to 1 I get a1 into x to the power 1 plus the next term I put k is equal to 2 so that I get a2 into x to the power 2 and so on so I want, I want to convince you one thing that is this expression and this summation implies the same. Okay, let's move ahead with the derivatives. So, this is our power series solution and this is the corresponding summation. And this is our derivative, the first derivative. And we have the derivative in the summation notation. And as you notice, when you differentiate, a0 will disappear. So, our summation will start from k is equal to 1. Okay. So, can you tell me what will happen when you write the second order derivative? Yeah. The summation will start from k is equal to 2. Okay. Once more, I wanted to pause the video for a second. 
and note all these things it's really really important that you note these things because when we do the numericals you'll find things really easy if you're good with the values of y dy by dx and d square over dx square that to the summation form okay i'll stop this video and in the next video we'll be doing numericals related to power series method